garage once again. We, we returned from a land far away with a trailer full of motorcycles. We left at 5 a.m. Actually, I left at 5 a.m. Saturday morning and got home 10 o'clock Sunday night. And that's a, like uh, 17 hours. There's 15 motorcycles in there. What do you see what we got? Let's, without further ado, let me show you. Now there's, there's a blanket over this one right here. And there's a reason why. This bike right here, the guy that, that hooked me up with, is a very, very special motorcycle. You will see it, but nobody can know that we have it right now yet because all his buddies wanted to buy it. And he said, I want this thing to be restored the way it needs to so it'll have a, a second chance on life. And his friends probably would have just taken it and trashed it, he thought. So um, this is a very, very special bike. Stay tuned for that one. Hey guys, check this out. You just pulled up on a brand new 2024 125MC. Junior, what's up with this brand new 125? Check it out, guys. 2024 Gas Gas MC125. All new chassis, engine, key in, fuel injection. All new for 2024. It's got the, the revised closed cartridge, WP forks, forged triple clamps, hour meter, $74.99 out the door. Cheapest prices in New England, only at Kaplan Cycles. All right, guys, the mystery bike is gone. But this bike should be no mystery what this is. Take a close look. This is a Kawasaki LTD 1000 1980. One of the last of this style. Is this the last year of this, this style engine? 1980 or was it 81? I think. Do you know, Bill? Anybody know? No, I don't. It was a limited production model, I believe two years. And I know it looks like shit right now, but we're going to do a frame up on this thing. Take a look. She's a little crusty. She's really freaking dusty. But we're going to give this the full Monty. And uh, Justin... Our new uh, ATEC here is going to, along with Jeff Casty and Coach, is going to go through this thing. So without further ado, let's roll her out. A little dust and crust, but it's still a classic LTD. You know, the, they, these things, if you check the Mecham prices, what they're going for online is ridiculous. So it's definitely worth restoring yeah, these. I got it. They're, they're uh, highly collectible. Um, you want to get that side? LTD magic. Those are Lester. I, I think Lester might have made those mags. It's a very cool special, that bike. The LTD 1000 was made by Kawasaki, but they worked in conjunction with some of the more popular vendors in the industry, like Jardine. It actually came stock with a Jardine two, two into uh, two on each side, so it's essentially a four into two dual exhaust and a megaphone on it, and it's still stamped Jardine. So uh, it came with a step seat, Lester mags. I don't know if they're are those less, actual Lester mags, Bill? Do you know or? Couldn't tell, but the it, exact replica. Yeah, exact replica. So come on in, check in, out the next one. This is one of my favorites. This is a Honda 754 Super Sport 1976 model. Watch the, uh, the tail light here. You're real close to the, the wall. Yeah. You can come back about three inches. All right, that's as far as you can go. Then you gotta drag it the other way. Oh, wheel truck in the way. Actually, put, put it on the kickstand. Put it on the kickstand. Yeah. Just... 754 Super Sport. That thing's gonna be really sharp when it's done. Let's check this out. This is a Triumph 900cc 2004 Thruxton, and I believe this is eligible for ARMA finish racing. Billy, is this, is this the one that, that they run at ARMA? Yeah, this is the one. This is the one, Ken. This is the baby. W w would, you, uh, would you like to take a few spins around Barber uh, Vintage Fest with this? You mean race it? Yeah. Hell yeah! It's on, brother. <laughs> All right. Check, check, it, check <laughs> it out. As you know, Billy's an Isle of Man uh, veteran, so this would be no problem with him. This, this is a, um, uh, a uh, Fender Eliminator thing, and it's got a um, Cafe Racer seat on it. We had it running when I picked it up. Check out the exhaust on this. I don't know what, what brand it is, but, but it looks like a, almost like a Bassani or something like that, doesn't it? It sounds wicked. That's all I can tell you. It's a 900cc. Yeah, re reverse cone. That's the one you want. It's got a 900cc um, aluminum rims avon tires so we'll have this baby fired up soon we'll be wheeling it down the street 